Well, hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, so I got a message from Jesus and I'm just, I was, sorry, excuse the roughness. I was about to go to bed, but I wanted to get this out. Um, I felt the urgency to get it out, but I want to tell you before I, I do this message, I had a dream. So I had a dream the other night and it was very, very short. But what I remember is, um, it said, I am at the door and I was like near like an open window or something, but he said, I'm at the door. And then he gave me 717. Someone said 717 is seven is to pluck and to gather up. So rapture. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Cause listen, I don't usually get numbers. So the Lord, you know, this is the second dream now with numbers. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. So really I've had not a lot of dreams, you know, I feel like I have dreams when he's really trying to get a message through. Like he's given me some tribulation dreams just to encourage people, you know, that may see some destruction before the rapture or people left behind. You know, I had a dream in like, it was a while ago, actually, I think it was before the messages started. I was um, in a house and I was, um, there was a huge storm. Everything was getting like completely destroyed uh, around me. And I remember in the house, I was just praying to Jesus. And I said, Jesus, you know, put your protective angels around me and keep me safe. And then like in my dream, the wind went whoosh, and stopped completely. And then I walked outside and I was the only house standing. Everything around me was destroyed. But because I trusted in Jesus, I was fine. And then... I had another dream that like it was all the sky like the whole sky was lit up in lights and it almost either looks like bombs were going off or like it kind of reminded me of 4th of July like he said um <clears throat> so I don't know if it was like fireworks or something but I remember feeling a lot of peace in my dream but there were a lot of people scared around me and I remember being inside I walked outside for a second to look at all the you know the lights and the colors and everything um, but then I felt like I was about to be raptured at that moment. Excuse me, I have the hiccups at that moment. So that was cool. And then a weird dream I had um, not too long ago before the good 717 dream and the 917 dream. I didn't tell anyone this because it was just really strange until he like gave me the word on the apocalyptic zombie thing. Like I was like, I'm not going to tell this dream because I don't know. <laughs> But I think it was a warning um, for what's to come because um, in this dream, I was wearing a wedding ring and the wedding ring fell on the floor. And then as soon as the wedding ring fell on the floor, it jumped to the next scene and I was literally like alive, but dead at the same time, like very zombie-like. And I remember in the dream, like wanting to eat, you know, not, not you know, like what zombies eat. I don't even want to talk about it because it's so gross, but, um, <clears throat> and then I woke up and it was, it was very, very weird. I think the end times and, um, the, it's going to be very supernatural, very supernatural. I mean, already, you know, God speaking, um, you know, in Acts two seventeen, and then, um, I can't remember the other one where he pours out his spirit and sons and daughters will prophesy. That's very supernatural already. I mean, when this first started, I felt like I was insane. I was like, what is happening? I really could not like function with the gift because I really just didn't understand it. And nothing ever happened like that before, you know? So it was, it was wild. Um, now I'm kind of used to it. It's like, it's like, okay, another message today. Now I get it. You know, I think before he was just trying to let me know that it was him and I had to be obedient and stuff. So it was you know, because sometimes you can be like doubting Thomas sometimes. Okay, so um, I claim Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh, and he died for us on the cross and rose on the third day. Um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people. Today's April 20th, 2023. Well, it's actually 21st right now, but I got the message on in April 20th, so. Uh, Jeremiah 1 7 but the Lord said to me do not say I am a youth for you shall go to all to whom I send you and whatever I command you you shall speak Jeremiah 1 8 do not be afraid of their faces for I am with you to deliver you says the Lord Job 4 9 by the blast of God they perish and by the breath of his anger they are consumed 
Revelation 6, 7. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. Colossians 1, 4. Since we heard of our faith in Christ Jesus and of our love for all the saints. 1 Timothy 1, 9. Knowing this, that the law was not made for a righteous person, but for the lawless and insubordinate, for the ungodly and for sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers. Here's the message. My child, space. My child, space. NASA calls for destruction. He gave it to me twice. So I guess it was important. It's a lie. It's a deception. Wormwood. Planet X, discover the truth. What is going to explain the rapture? I already told you. Unidentified objects, it's not real destruction, it's a mirrored image. Don't be fooled by their tactics. It's not aliens, it's fallen angels. They're lining up their agenda. Harpazo signals the end, but only the beginning. It will bring in the Great Tribulation. Systems already in place. Once restrainer is removed, my judgment commences. I don't want any of this for my children. If you believe in me and confess I am Lord, I will save you. New Zealand earth shakes sevenfold. Colorado oil production gone. Why can't you see the end is near, my child? Why do you still question my teachings? Destruction will come upon the world like birth pains upon a woman and labor. Philadelphia will burn. Will burn. Freemasonry temple will fall. Electricity will go out in Idaho. Oklahoma will experience food shortage. There will be a fire. Please wake up, children. Time is so short. I am at the door. I love you all and I wish for no one to perish. 1 Corinthians 2, 7, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. 1 Peter 1, 5, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Zephaniah 1, 9, in the same day, I will punish all those who leap over the threshold, who fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. 2 Corinthians 2.8 Therefore I urge you to reaffirm your love to him. 1 John 2.4 He who says I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. John 3.7 Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Okay, it was just a short message, guys, but I wanted to get it out because um, I'm obedient. <laughs> It's, it's crazy because, you know, the Lord had me write down um, all the cliff notes and stuff. And I'm telling you, it's like I have to do the tasks he gives me. And if I don't do those tasks, then, you know, he does not move on. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like school sometimes. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, God is good. I love Jesus with all my heart. And, you know, he wants a relationship with everybody. So if you don't know him, you know, just ask him to come into your life. Believe in him with all your heart. Confess he's Lord and he will save you guys. You know, he died on the cross for us. You know, there's no one out there that would do that, that would suffer what Jesus suffered for us. Um, so, you know, it's not too late. The door has not closed yet, guys. But there's patterns and in these messages. There are warnings. And I think there's like little things happening since December 30th, you know, the first month was just warnings. The second month, a couple things started coming true. Third month, a lot of things started coming true. And now we're in April and it's just coming true like super quick, really fast. And I think the contractions are getting closer together. I think that's what this means. So it's very soon. Um, I have not heard today was Passover or anything like that. So or Purim. I'm still waiting on that message, and but he's being quiet about that, so I guess only time will tell. Okay, guys. Have a blessed night.